around what 2004 yeah that you said you that you were at your lowest yeah and you contemplated taking your own life yeah uh you didn't talk you didn't have a therapist you didn't have anybody that you felt comfortable enough with to go sit down and have a conversation with even if it's not a therapist yeah. maybe a pastor maybe a closest friend yeah. you held that you bottled that up inside and dealt with it on your own hello 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 and welcome to story time with a grown woman swag and the w is silent thank you guys in advance from the intro we're going to get right into this kel mitchell story so kel made his way on to club shay shay shannon sharp's podcast and guys before we get started i'm going to tell you now i'm going to leave the link in the description because i want you to be blessed with that performance by ty tribbett and i want you to be blessed by what uh kale had to say now kale went on to talk about the numerous numerous accolades that he has achieved throughout the years and he is so humble so humbled over 30 years in the industry um, a lot of you may know him uh, by uh, working alongside with Keenan and um, Good Burger and all of the things that uh, Kale did throughout his career but for me this is where I learned about Kale and um, guys I don't know if you know but he contemplated ending everything and he talked about everything that led up to that day we're going to listen to some clips of the interview but guys i was so blessed by this why for one it's because we live in a world now to where people are giving up easy but the things that kale endured um, throughout his lifetime as a young adult led him to that infamous day where he thought about ending it all and today you know we see so many people who want to end it all just from cyberbullying. but this young gentleman at the time was just going through it all with loss of family members friends uh infidelity between his girlfriend that turned into his wife just so many things just dealing with the industry but one thing that i took away from what kale was talking about was the fact that kale found it in his heart to trust again what am i talking about well let's listen to a clip and we're going to come back i ended up uh marrying uh my ex-wife you know uh because we had another baby job. we had a baby mm -hmm. right we had the abortion but then we had a baby mm -hmm. and uh she ended up telling me that the baby that was aborted wasn't mine you know, it was other times uh, she had gotten pregnant, other things, and it just got to a point. She had gotten pregnant again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Were y'all together? Yeah, yeah. And it wasn't you? Not with me. Ah, oh, come on, <laughs> no, Kale. It wasn't me. It wasn't and me. you stuck around? Yeah, I stuck around. So, yeah, guys, several times, <laughs> Kale was with his first wife and found out the kids that she was carrying were not his. So many people, you know, they talk about their experiences and, you know, how they won't trust again and how they won't give another person another opportunity and things of that nature. But guys and gals, I just want this to be an encouragement to you is if you are seeking someone to go through life with, and you've been hurt or you have some type of issues that has prevented you from, you know, being transparent and giving your all. Keep what Kale talked about in mind, because if Kale could be with this woman who was basically a habitual cheater, who continued to procreate with other men although she was married and Kel was bringing home the bacon and doing what he thought was necessary for his home if he can find it in his heart to give his heart to someone else and trust someone else to go through life with ladies and gentlemen a simple cheat <laughs> or a lie from someone that's nothing and let this be something that motivates you guys motivates you to trust again and when it comes to ty tibbet 
if you need that motivation for the day for the week hey guys save that video save that performance in your phone so you can get that uplifting because it's gonna be all right so um when you watch the video when you watch the performance i want you to come back into the comments and let me know if you were blessed by what you saw i definitely wanted to share it with you guys because i was blessed when i saw it and guys and gals again if you are dealing with something don't hold it in talk to somebody i know there are so many times when people say all you have to do is talk to god well sometimes you want that presence we know god can give you peace we know he can give you understanding that tranquility whatever you need but at the end of the day sometimes you need that human that human um touch that human presence so uh, always remember that guys Thank you for listening, and if you haven't, please make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that notification, guys, so you'll know when I upload a video, and as always, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye!